I want to be a Starship Ranger. Hey YouTube, can we talk about interstellar comedy with a heart? I just got back from Chicago where I saw the opening night performance of the new Team Star Kids show, Starship. You've probably heard a lot about this play if you're a fan of a Harry Potter musical or a Harry Potter sequel, and let me tell you, Star Kids, you will not be disappointed with this new show. It's totally awesome. Now, unlike the previous Star Kids shows, this musical is set not in a world of fantasy, but of science fiction. Now, being a sci-fi geek myself, I was pretty excited. As always, I can't tell you the particulars of the plot, but I can tell you it centers on a character named Bug and a group of Starship Rangers. And trust me, by the end of the play, you will want to be a Starship Ranger. Probably. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Part of what was really insane about the show was not only the performance itself, but what I found when I arrived at the theater, which was... That would be cool if you were actually hot! And then I headed backstage to talk to some of my friends on their thoughts on the show. We are backstage at Starship. Hey, I'm Dylan Saunders. Hey guys, I'm Joe Walker. <laughs> Hi, Alex. I like you're such an actor right now with your coffee. Huh? It's just, tea. Oh. Aliens meets Little Mermaids with a hint of Avenue Q and Starship Troopers. <laughs> had a puppet, a designer and creator who does some work for Jim Henson and stuff like that. He made maybe 29 puppets for the show. I'm the Little Mermaid. In every way. And actual 3D puppets, and then we have some 2D cutout stuff, like here's a leg of a spider. I play a few characters. Everyone plays at least one character. I'll tell you about one character Everyone I play. Everyone play at least one character. That's why they're in the cast. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone plays at least one character. My favorite thing is in Act 4, Scene 17, but my lightsaber keeps shorting out. And so I've had to rely on jetpack and blasters to do all, all of the stage combat. Yes. Just that right there. Could be anything. That's a tease. <laughs> could um, be a spider like, it could be a poo, a piece of poo. One character I play is a lot like some of those weasels from Who Framed Roger Rabbit. The show's been going really well. All of the, the puppets work really well together. The aliens are awesome. Um, the cast is great. You're going to love the new people. Brant, mm. Meredith, and Denise, they're all wonderful. And Denise Donovan. And what do you what do you do in the show? Um, I I do February. <laughs> I think the puppets are really beautiful. I just love puppets. I've always loved the Muppets. And these guys, they're really good actors. They're the best actors in the show. I do enjoy working the puppet. I think working a puppet is one of the most fun things I've ever done. Uh, in one of our shows or in most shows. It gives you the opportunity to kind of drop all the physical things that you usually would do. Kind of supplement them into a puppet's movement. I'm sorry. Uh, we're gonna get one interview with Dylan not walking by. After that's done, I find the unobtainium finally. And, and then that's pretty much the end of the show. The crowds have been fantastic. So far, people have been very receptive to uh, the, you know, the story that we have been creating. So you have to stay tuned for Act 4. After you think the show's over, you wait about 3-4 hours, I come out with a jetpack and a lightsaber. Starship is littered with inside jokes and references, and I'm happy to say not just pop culture references to today, but to movies from when I was growing up. Things like Starship Troopers and Scream. Even a couple references to Star Trek II The Wrath of Khan, if you're paying attention. Songs which were written by Darren Chris, who is not in the show, to the chagrin of many crying Glee fangirls, are excellent as well. In the Potter shows, I feel like the songs stood out much more on their own, whereas in Starship, they are much more part of the plot, which is to say that I think every song has a reprise, which is really cool, because I like reprises. Most of all, this show brought under really sharp focus what I love most about the Star Kids, which is that they are just playing make-believe, and they're getting to do it on a very large stage with a budget and have a musical erupt behind them, but at the end of the day, they're just kids playing make-believe and being absolutely ridiculous with it, which is why I think their shows are so successful, because they have the freedom to just allow themselves to be kids in the backyard. I think it takes a real type of courage to be able to get up on stage in front of that many people and say, yeah, I'm gonna be really silly. I'm gonna play pretend. Do you want to play with me? And the answer is a resounding yes. Great job, Star Kids. Starship was incredible. Seeing Darren? Wait, is what? He's here? What? He's what? He's what? He's here? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs>